What's up guys, I'm Dunmere, top 100 Overwatch main tank, and I'm gonna show you guys some Marissa gameplay and talk about how you should play her and talk about how crazy she is. So they completely changed her, to be honest. <laughs> like, she's just not nearly at all what she really used to be. She used to be, you know, a ranged, like, shield tank, hold down area sort of thing. Obviously they completely took away the tank, took away the shield, and they gave her, like, two self-sustaining abilities. So, like, the interesting little things you used to do to, like, sustain yourself against, um, against some, like, amp damage and stuff like that. So, like, min-max you are fortifying and stuff like that is now just, like, not that important because you can do it with two different abilities. Like, you basically have to, like, cycle them, essentially, and it'll just get you, like, a bunch of value, essentially. Um, like, popping one and then chilling and popping the other one is really, really powerful to, like, push in. Now, obviously, like, my team's down right now, and so we don't just want to push into. Not to mention we're kind of pushing into like some awkward angles, but it's basically like what this character is entirely about. Um, additionally, with some like displacement kind of stuff too, because the javelin spin does also give you some extra, um, like lets you push people around. So, you're just definitely best on maps that are like pretty small. And like, they're not small, but they have like a very flat borders on them. Um, high grounds aren't going to really be too ideal at all. But like this sort of thing, you can just stuff this as a tank. Like you still are main tank. Anyone tries to go through a choke like this, you just, you know, spin and push them back and stuff like that. Which is that such a weird animation. <laughs> I'm fine, did that perfectly. Give me a bundle. Let's go. So you can like frontline, obviously. Um, although you're gonna want to try and like look for opportunities to just go hunt down a DPS. So do your aim's golden enough. Let's see if I can eat some of this stuff. I got a decent portion of it. Like you are also essentially like um, Diva now, like a really weird, awkward version of Diva because you do eat damage on things. So any sort of damage that or anything that's like blockable, like a diva matrix can block, you can block. Oh, oh, come on, Anna, come on. Oh, thank you. So Ooh. I just knocked that guy off the map. No? Oh, it's a Kiriko. That's tragic. But this does have the ability to push people. So you can like get a like a healthy amount of um pushing ability on them too. So this character like you know is another one to like pop on maps like well and stuff like that. To be fair, she used to be also, but now you know she's even, even not more necessarily because the pulls pretty good displacement back in Overwatch one, but it's uh it's still like you know good, right? The ultimate's a little bit funky just because of the way that it like. I don't know, like I still need to limit test it and see how it goes exactly. But the amount of like the amount of damage you do with it scales over time. You have to like kinda try and hold it longer. Here you can basically see what I'm doing is I'm like, you know, alternating my cooldowns. Like you know, I pushed, I pushed with my with my jab one spin, and then I did my E, and then I would do another jab one spin. And by that time I'm pretty close to having my shift back sort of thing. And then you can use your fortify if you need it. Then you can use the other spin ability. And it's just like, you can keep up like a really aggressive pushing situation. So while this character, I think this character might be able to be like bypass in some situations, like, you know, in high level play and stuff like that. It's gonna be really, really strong in general just because of how like powerful it's like point anchoring capabilities are. You can literally just sit on top of the point and, um, like pull enemies or like let enemies come to you and then you start fragging them and stuff like that there's not really anything they can do about it because you're so unkillable if you're using like your like the wall at all you shouldn't really be dying or if you have any sort of like any level of viable like support <laughs> to heal you you'll be fine i have my ult here this is what it does it pulls people in and then it charges up damage then you pop it and then whatever's in there dies or you know if you if you do it right of course You can basically just entirely force people out of the fight with stuff like that too. So I would recommend using that ability more often for like as like a uh, 
not just to push people around, unless you're like guaranteed that you're gonna be winning with it. Like of course, you know, the character can still die if you go too hard, but if you're playing with like a Baptiste, for example, you're just absolutely never going to die. Just pushing into the core, having like some people, you know, pressure them from the off angles and stuff like that. You just hard force the objective and they just shoot whatever's on the objective. It's gonna be pretty decent. It's basically like a kind of what they did with the Junker Queen composition in, in Overwatch League recently. So also when you do hit the um the, the spirit, if it hits something, it does extra damage. I'm gonna kite that. If I hit that, I would have cancelled that too, so that's another powerful ability. And even though sustaining the guy in the game is like omega high right now, you do like a pretty decent amount of damage, so you can kind of like deal with some of it, right? We can use this to kite out so we can get the rest of our team back. <laughs> Just tossing that in the walls. It's kind of silly. It has a pretty like large hitbox too, so you can poke from range with decent damage. Somebody's flanking here. Got anti, but I'm gonna try and force away from my team. So there in the situation I chose to like use my my little spin ability to try and force her away. Just because I knew that she could sneak up on my team and, and burn him. So you can do it for that, you can do it just like eat some cooldowns and stuff like that. There's a lot of capabilities you can use it for. <laughs> you thought, bro. So yeah, there's just lots of capabilities. So if you're weaving in like your spin ability and then you're using your um your fortify and then you're using your little spear thing to like push anyone that aggresses into you. There's a lot of value you can get. I push my like herd them all together here and then see if I can go for an ult. But I didn't go for a full kill there because I didn't think I was gonna be able to get enough value out of it. But there's definitely a lot you can do. I got stuck. Oh, why does that show the same stuck thing as with the tracer? A little bit confusing. But definitely need to try and push him from this high ground though. But I haven't really played a lot of this map, so I didn't even really know how to get there. My allies need me. Like, you're still kind of a spam character. Like, you, you spam from range, and then you get into close range to brawl them. So, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of hybrid in a lot of ways. Like, multiple ways to play the character. Like, let's just say you're playing against, like, a, a Reinhardt and crew, and they're, like, walking on the point with you, you can just sit there and spam them out. Until you need to contest or whatever. I think these I think these buffs to Rissa are gonna be kinda nasty. This is a horrible place for us to push from. But that ability lets you like entirely just push through a choke. I'm gonna eat this damage right back up. Use it too early. Now you don't really get any sort of like you know, you don't get like a uh these guys feel so kinda of ambitious. You don't get like extra armor or whatever from using it like you do with Sigma. Now, of course, you probably don't want to be pushing their little choke there, but sometimes you got to limit us, right? Especially on new characters. Let's see what he can really do. We have another touch here, though, if we, uh, if we don't really troll too much. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, even though we're kind of having, like, a struggle here, I do, I do see this character having a lot of capability. It's very, very strong in general, to be honest. I gotta cancel that ultimate right there. Oops. That's looking kind of... Well, that's looking really not too good. I want to forget my ultimate. Alright guys, so I want to show you some more gameplay considering uh, the last one was, you know, how it was. So I kind of want to show you a little bit of like what like another map could look like essentially. So while you can brawl, you obviously don't really want to be brawling in like a location that's too dangerous. Gosh, this is one of the craziest choke points I've ever added to a game like that. Granted, you can go above it and stuff like that, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of crazy. Because it's a super long hallway of death.
Don't worry, guys. Things die in this game for sure. <laughs> All right. Um. But yeah. So, like I was talking about, this character's kind of kind of wild for sustain and stuff like that. On a map that's like more elevated, it's probably not going to be like, you know, the absolute like best idea. But on other maps, it'd be pretty powerful. Like I can see this being pretty strong in something like uh, King's Row because of like especially second and even into third because of the spam quality because like while you're not like you don't necessarily have some of the flexibility of some other characters but you do still have the ability to like spam range like obviously i can i can shoot these guys right my heart can't so go to the top here i'm gonna absolutely roll them though go to the top or bottom i'm gonna roll them oh i hope they come in here so badly where they are. Wait till get close, I'm gonna hold them. Yeah, that's pretty. You don't want to walk into an arrestor like that. But honestly, like I'm saying here, I don't think I could ever really kill this Arissa. Just with a raw damage output. And she has her fortify, and then now she's about to have her little spitty javelin ability. We're gonna do our little goofy fight here. Like, old Orisa 1v1s, like, I played a lot of the old Orisa, and I was really good at it. Well, obviously, I played a lot of it because the main tank where I played it during, like, the Orisa time periods. But I actually didn't really mind getting good at Orisa. I put a lot of, a lot of, like, you know, brain power in the practice, I guess you could say. And so what would happen, essentially, is, like, a lot of, a lot of the 1v1 between an Orisa and another Orisa was, like, securing a good pull on another Orisa. And pulling her from like underneath her shield or like around it around a corner and you can get a quite a decent amount of damage on this but now like the character honestly doesn't even like die at all so there's not really much you can do about that i'm trying to rotate out and see if we can get to the oh actually i'm thinking of this the fact that you move faster kind of makes it harder to aim i'm gonna be honest i feel like i have the most terrific aim of all time anyway but Main thing problems, right? Oh, well, hello. The nice thing about playing against Kiriko is when she does disappear, it's not so much like a Moira where you kind of have to like guess where she goes. With Kiriko, it's just literally just like, all right, where is her team? Here. Come back here. So honestly, the ult's kind of weird. It's not nearly as powerful as her old ult was. But the whole like, like there is, there is like pretty solid. Oh, I guess you slide on that. There's some pretty good solid like use capabilities for that. Think they're gonna push me in here again? I'm thinking yes. I'm trying to bait him in a little bit more here. Like honestly, it's probably gonna be better to use as like a something to just damage people, and not so much like go for the raw kill just because of how like you'll get like a guaranteed like solid amount of like damage off of one die you'll get a guaranteed solid amount of damage if you just like hit it and then pop it and you get that like original like 100 damage or whatever it is but so i think i don't know the exact numbers or anything like that but i'm pretty sure it's whatever percentage shows up that's the amount of uh damage you're outputting but like you can't you just honestly can't even brawl into another rissa like this Well, if you push them off, right, but then I'm just gonna do the same sort of thing to them. So, honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of stupid. I do think it's very possible that, like, we're gonna see some Arissa versus Arissa 1v1s going on. Yeah, as you, you guys can't see it, but the person in the comments here just said, Arissa's literally a raid boss, and it's like... Yeah, it's just like, you just can't die, you know? You just can't die. If you're, if you're playing, like, not not trolling and, like, your team isn't dead, right? You just don't die on Arisa. It's just, it's just frankly, pretty, pretty dang silly, so. If you're looking for some more Overwatch 2 content, then make sure to check out these videos I have right here. Like I said, I'm a top 100 Overwatch player, so I have lots of videos and things to share with you guys.